one child. Any additional children will cost an extra $50. Our goal is to show the district, hey, this is how we're benefiting. Well, and we'll start lowering fees once we, you know, we figure out where we can get to them. And the fee is literally just to keep the buses running. Venezia added they do offer scholarships to help cover the cost for those who can't afford it. You can find this story on our website, that's valleycentral.com. Reporting for the newsroom, I'm Natasha Trindade. Thank you. Well, if you're looking for some fun family bonding time, then Danielle's got the perfect event for you and the kids. Mm -hmm. You like sing-alongs, Adam? I do. <laughs> so if do this I. is a sing-along story, I want you to sing the introduction. <laughs> you read it, I'll sing it. All right, sounds All right, good. And then we'll flip it. All right, let's go. <laughs> Well, we're making a great team here, and so does family bonding time when it comes to reading and singing. I just love this, Adam. It involves reading because the family that reads together learns it together and, like you said, bonds together. That's really why I'm so happy to share info on a special family story time event happening at the Lark Branch Library over in the Upper Valley. Now, it's a great way for parents to spend some time reading to their kids with special sing-along adventures as well as get hands-on and creative with an interactive arts and crafts activity session. Now children of all ages are welcome to attend and it's going to be an educational and entertaining experience for the whole gang. Plus it's a great opportunity to explore the various resources and tools that the library already has to offer year round. Now reading is after all a very excellent hobby to engage in when it comes to educational development. In fact according to weareteachers.com reading can just be the fastest way for a child to learn vocabulary. It can help them understand rules better in a classroom and a library setting so it can aid in disciplines. It can also help their brains grow in a more efficient method and children who read regularly do tend to improve their academic levels by at least 2% every single year. Students the opportunity to explore and engage openly, they're able to make more connections to what they already have working in their brain. That's right, and it is so fun for our Rio Grande Valley children to get the opportunity to learn together with one another. So feel free to drop by the event. It's happening on Tuesday, uh, and it's from 6.30 to 7.30 in the evening. You can visit the library location off Lark Avenue in the Upper Valley for more information, as well as the McAllen Library website that you see there on screen. Good stuff there, guys, and guess what? It actually happens every Tuesday. Really? Yeah. Nice. So, <laughs> so I'm really is, excited. Yeah, yeah, so if you miss one, you can go to the very next week. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And like I said, it's reading, but plus story time. So and sing along. So it's everything encompassed into one event. Yeah, these are cool things. These are things that I didn't go to as a kid, but I wish they were around. I would have loved to have done that. I've been to a couple library events, not here in the valley, because I'm not originally from here. But when I was growing up, I think it was probably in North Carolina, the library events where they do the story time. Mm -hmm. I loved those as a kid. I loved reading as a kid. I think it helped me learn a lot faster. Just like you were saying, this is a great thing for kids to go to to learn to help them better be disciplined and kind of just grow learn, learn to interact with others in society and sing along all for that <laughs> have you guys ever watched like the disney movies with the oh yeah along? have we yes <laughs> best thing ever Adam, no, I we're, gonna, you we're gonna sure. have to do one here we're gonna have to do a whole newscast sing along yeah style. version oh my right. goodness our executive producer is here is he gonna approve that i think so yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. welcome awesome. to nbc 23. Yeah. No, awesome. well, this is a really good event for kids of yes. all ages as you mentioned yeah and i do want to give a shout out to ane and memo Zamorano because they're actually in the hospital right now Aww. expecting baby uh rio benjamin rio Aww. benjamin in. So they're watching. So thanks for Hi. watching. And <laughs> everything's amazing. gonna go good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, Congratulations welcome. too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they can take their other daughter, Emmy, Emmy Luna. Yes. So it's a story time. It I love yeah. that yes. so much. All right. Well, <laughs> awesome. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> also to come, childcare crisis. Federal funding approved during the pandemic for childcare is expiring. What this could mean for you and your family. Details after the break. And if you're planning out your day, temperatures this afternoon going to be at around 98 for the valley average high. Some of us really could be at that 100 to 104 degree mark. The feels like temperatures, the heat index going to be a little bit higher today than yesterday, so it's going to feel a little bit worse. Okay, it's going to feel like about 105 to 109, depending on where you fall. So.